This is a video overview of the Orange Modworks Unleashed, um, Unleashed Stage 2 kit for the Retaliator. Here's the box. It looks pretty. <laughs> uh, nice cardboard box. Good box art. Like most people, I'm never going to see this box again after I install the kit. Opening it up, uh, you have installation guide. You just open it, replace all the parts, and call it a day. It's really not that difficult. Um, the Retaliator is a rather simple blaster. Going over the individual components, here's the new bolt sled. It looks um, very nice. I've gone over a lot of Orange Modworks products in the past, so I don't want to harp on their molding again, but it's pristine molding, tier one stuff. Um, you know exactly what you're going to get, so it's supposed to be reinforced. I've never broken a Retaliator bolt sled, but it doesn't hurt to have it. The next thing is the new barrel. Um, doesn't have an air restrictor in it, that would be silly. Doesn't have a barrel post in it. Um, so yeah, I can give more details after I've used it a little bit, but the overview, it looks good. Uh, plunder rod, um, looks good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, all I can really go over right at this point is the mold lines, it looks good. I do like the black, um, color of all of these components. I think they look a little bit more hardcore, but that's just my opinion. Next is the metal trigger. Um, I'm not a huge fan of metal triggers, to be honest. The strong arm metal trigger was the first metal trigger I liked because I prefer the lighter trigger pull and it feels like I'm using more work or um, doing more work for no reason at all. But um, it is well molded and it has a nice little orange Modworks thing in the side there which is visible when it's installed. This little uh, packet has your silicone grease, your catch springs, the o-ring for your, um, whoops, your plunger head. Um, and your uh, moving barrel, sorry, Herbity Derp on language today, and your stickers if you want to put the stickers on the outside to show your support for Orange Modworks. Going over the box, this is actually new for Orange Modworks as far as I know. Uh, a lot of the kits they send me aren't in official packaging, so they might have done this in the past, but it's foam cut specifically to the components, which I think is really cool. A little bit more hardcore than uh, their past packaging, more like a gun, and that's pretty cool for some people. However, this system only works if you have foam on the top that shuts down on the components because when I had mine, you can see this foam can shift quite a bit. So when I um, received mine from normal shipping, I mean USPS isn't the most gentle service, but it's not really abusive. Um, and the parts were everywhere because they needed to have some foam up here to come down and shut and apply pressure on the top to keep all of the components in their little cutouts. So this system looks cool, but it didn't actually work very well for me. So I assume if you're buying stage two, you already have stage one. Stage one, um, I don't remember if I made a review on this product, but it's the spring essentially and the catch and the catch spring um, to allow you to function better with that. This is where most of the performance is going to be. So I'm going to assume you already have stage one if you're buying stage two. I recommend buying them in order or both at once. Buying stage two without stage one, might not yield very great results because the spring is the primary thing, but I'm going to install just stage one, chronograph it, and then stage two, and chronograph it, of course, unmodified as well, so you can compare all three of those to see what you want to buy based on velocity readings and usability. Completely unmodified retaliator with elite darts. Seventy-two. I missed. 75, duplicate 75, 72, 74, duplicate 74, duplicate 74, uh, 76, these are in feet per second. Retaliator with the Orange Mod Works Stage 1 kit. Keep in mind, I did no other modifications. I did not remove the air restrictor, enhance the air seal, everything is stock, with the exception of the switching out of the Stage 1 kit, which is the spring and the catch with the catch spring. Ninety-five. Error, I shot it off, that was my fault. Ninety-nine. One twenty four. Don't know if that was a misread. One oh four. Ninety nine. One fifteen. Four hundred and thirty eight. Yeah, that's a that's a chronograph error there. One oh seven. Retaliator with stage one and stage two, denoted by the metal trigger. Doesn't really affect velocity, but it feels really cool. Velocities. 131, 109, 114, 
103. Uh, I think I missed. 72. That's weird. 115. 99. All right, so hopefully I've supplied enough raw data for you to make the decision on the purchase yourself. Um, all of the chrono readings are in the description box if you'd like to read those through text rather than watching the video. Um, overall, I'm very happy with stage one and stage two. Um, stage one is a substantial range, um, or sorry, velocity increase for the money. Stage two is an enhancement beyond stage one, but is it worth the money? Sort of a call you have to make yourself. Um, I don't really want to tell you to go buy anything, um, including anything I use. I like to point out what I use, including Orange Modworks products, but I don't want to ram them down your throat, diggity. Um, so it's a good increase, but is it worth the money? You're going to have to make that decision. It is quite a bit more expensive to get two plus one, and just buying stage two and not buying stage one, not recommended by me, because again, the spring is going to give you the most power. Um, and the catch and the catch spring are essential to run that bit powerful spring um, without accidentally shooting people with your catch to you an accident. <clears throat> so overall, I'm extremely happy with stage one and stage two, just making that clear. If it's worth the money, maybe not as much for most people unless you have a lot of money and you want the absolute most out of your, your retaliator. As you can see that by the chrono readings, it is shooting harder with stage two because the lack of the air restrictor and the slightly better air fit, or a dart fit, sorry, on the barrel or breech. So hopefully I've covered the Retaliator Stage 1 and Stage 2 kits um, sufficiently for you to make up your mind whether or not you want to go out and purchase them. Uh, purchase link is in the description box or you can go to orangemodworks.com. I have other cool products that I review on my website, I'm sorry, on my channel, um, and on the website that I haven't reviewed. So that's the end of the review. Hopefully you like it and hopefully you like my, my cool Orange Modworks shirt. They gave this to me. Again, I'm not an employee. I'm just an affiliate. I review their stuff. And um, I think this shirt is really cool, uh, unless people are trying to shoot me, in which case that kind of sucks that they're using me as a target. Can't shoot me though, I'll just shoot you first, so whatever. Not really a problem. Anyways, that's the review of the product. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.